Book Summary by Teddy Bear Storytime Season of the Sandstorms is the sixth book in the Magic Tree House, Merlin Mission series by Mary Pope Osborne, published in 2005 by Random House. This installment is part of the expanded universe of the Magic Tree House series, designed for a slightly older audience, with more complex plots and historical contexts. The Merlin Mission series continues to follow the adventures of siblings Jack and Annie as they are sent on quests by Merlin, the legendary Wizard of Camelot. Season of the Sandstorms transports readers to ancient Baghdad during the Islamic Golden Age, a period renowned for its advancements in science, culture, and knowledge. The book is set against the backdrop of the vast Arabian desert, a landscape that is both harsh and majestic, symbolizing the challenges and mysteries that Jack and Annie must navigate. Osborne's depiction of this historical period is rich in detail, highlighting the significance of Baghdad as a center of learning and civilization during a time when much of the world was enveloped in the so-called Dark Ages. The story also delves into themes of knowledge, discovery, and the importance of wisdom, making it a thoughtful and educational journey for young readers. Characters Jack, the cautious, intelligent older sibling who often takes a methodical approach to solving problems. Jack's logical thinking and ability to research and analyze situations are crucial to the duo's success on their missions. Annie, Jack's younger sister, who is more spontaneous, curious, and empathetic. Annie's instincts and courage often drive the action forward, helping them to connect with the people they meet and the challenges they face. Merlin, the wise and powerful wizard who sends Jack and Annie on their quests. In this book, Merlin's guidance is less direct, forcing the siblings to rely more on their own resourcefulness. Caliph Almansur, the ruler of Baghdad during the Islamic Golden Age, portrayed as a wise and benevolent leader who values knowledge and learning. Ben Solomon, a scholar and traveler who aids Jack and Annie in their quest. He represents the intellectual spirit of the time, eager to learn and share knowledge. The Desert Nomads, a group of Bedouin tribespeople who play a crucial role in Jack and Annie's journey through the desert. They are depicted as resourceful and knowledgeable about the harsh desert environment. The magical white gazelle, a mystical creature that appears throughout the story, guiding Jack and Annie and symbolizing the purity and wisdom they must seek. A new assignment the book opens with Jack and Annie receiving a new mission from Merlin. This time, they are tasked with traveling to Baghdad during the Islamic Golden Age to aid in the preservation of knowledge. The mission is shrouded in mystery, with Merlin emphasizing the importance of wisdom and discovery. The chapter sets the tone for the adventure, introducing the central themes of knowledge and learning. Jack and Annie prepare for their journey, gathering books and notes that might help them understand their new mission. Arrival in Baghdad The Magic Tree House transports Jack and Annie to the edge of the Arabian Desert, near the bustling city of Baghdad. They are immediately struck by the beauty and grandeur of the city, with its towering minarets, vibrant markets, and the great library known as the House of Wisdom. The chapter provides a rich description of Baghdad, emphasizing its role as a hub of culture and learning during this period. Jack and Annie begin to explore the city, seeking out the people and places that might help them on their quest. Meeting Ben Solomon while exploring the city, Jack and Annie meet Ben Solomon, a scholar who is deeply involved in the intellectual life of Baghdad. He takes them to the House of Wisdom, where scholars from all over the world gather to study and share knowledge. Ben Solomon explains the significance of Baghdad as a center of learning and introduces Jack and Annie to the idea that their mission might involve protecting this treasure trove of knowledge from destruction. The chapter highlights the themes of intellectual curiosity and the exchange of ideas, as Jack and Annie are exposed to the vast array of knowledge housed in Baghdad. The threat of the sandstorms as Jack and Annie delve deeper into their mission, they learn that a series of devastating sandstorms are threatening to destroy the city and its precious knowledge. These sandstorms are not just natural phenomena but are linked to a magical imbalance that Jack and Annie must help correct. The chapter builds tension as the threat of the sandstorms becomes more immediate, and Jack and Annie realize the gravity of their task. 
they begin to understand that they must venture into the desert to find the source of the problem. Journey into the desert guided by Ben Solomon and a group of desert nomads, Jack and Annie embark on a journey into the vast Arabian desert. The desert is depicted as a place of both danger and beauty, with its endless dunes and harsh conditions. The chapter vividly describes the challenges of desert travel, as the group faces searing heat, limited water, and the ever-present threat of sandstorms. Along the way, Jack and Annie encounter the magical white gazelle, a mystical creature that seems to guide them towards their goal. This chapter emphasizes the themes of perseverance and the importance of following one's instincts, as Jack and Annie push forward despite the difficulties they face. The Cave of the Wise Deep in the Desert, Jack and Annie discover a hidden cave, where they meet an ancient wise man who holds the key to solving the mystery of the sandstorms. The wise man reveals that the sandstorms are a manifestation of the world's growing ignorance and neglect of wisdom. He explains that Jack and Annie must restore balance by sharing and preserving the knowledge they have gathered. The chapter delves into the philosophical aspects of the story, exploring the idea that knowledge is not just power but a responsibility that must be nurtured and protected. Restoring balance armed with the wisdom of the ancient sage, Jack and Annie return to Baghdad, where they must act quickly to prevent the final, most destructive sandstorm. They devise a plan to share the knowledge they have learned with the people of Baghdad, reinforcing the importance of the House of Wisdom and its scholars. The chapter reaches its climax as Jack and Annie's efforts are rewarded, and the sandstorms begin to dissipate. The city is saved, and the balance between knowledge and nature is restored. This chapter highlights the power of collective action and the importance of preserving cultural heritage. Returning home with their mission accomplished, Jack and Annie return to the Magic Tree House, where they reflect on the lessons they've learned. They discuss the importance of wisdom and knowledge, not just as tools for personal gain but as vital elements of human civilization. The chapter concludes with Jack and Annie returning to Frog Creek, eager for their next adventure. The story wraps up with a sense of fulfillment, as the siblings understand the deeper meaning behind their mission and the role they play in preserving history. Themes The value of knowledge and wisdom, the central theme of Season of the Sandstorms is the importance of knowledge and wisdom. Jack and Annie's mission is focused on preserving the knowledge contained in Baghdad's House of Wisdom, emphasizing the idea that knowledge is a precious resource that must be protected and shared. Cultural Exchange and Preservation The story highlights the significance of cultural exchange as Baghdad is depicted as a melting pot of ideas and knowledge from various cultures. Jack and Annie learn about the importance of preserving cultural heritage and the dangers of losing touch with the past. Perseverance in the face of adversity, throughout their journey, Jack and Annie face numerous challenges, from the harsh desert environment to the threat of the sandstorms. Their perseverance and determination to complete their mission reflect the broader theme of resilience in the face of adversity. The interconnectedness of nature and human action, the sandstorms in the story are linked to a magical imbalance caused by the neglect of wisdom and knowledge. This theme explores the idea that human actions, particularly those related to intellectual and cultural pursuits, have a direct impact on the natural world. Guidance and Mentorship The wise man in the desert serves as a mental figure for Jack and Annie, guiding them towards the solution to their problem. This theme reflects the importance of seeking out and learning from those with greater knowledge and experience. Analysis Character development In this book, Jack and Annie continue to mature, showing greater independence and responsibility in their approach to their mission. Their growth is evident in how they handle the challenges they face, particularly in the desert, where they must rely on their wits and courage. Narrative structure The story follows a classic quest structure with Jack and Annie embarking on a journey, facing trials, and ultimately returning home with newfound wisdom. The pacing is well balanced, with moments of tension and reflection interspersed throughout the narrative. Historical and cultural integration, Osborne effectively integrates the historical setting of Baghdad during the Islamic Golden Age into the narrative. The depiction of the House of Wisdom and the intellectual culture of the time adds depth to the story making it both educational and engaging. 
Symbolism The sandstorms symbolize the destructive power of ignorance and the importance of maintaining a balance between knowledge and nature. The magical white gazelle represents purity and the pursuit of wisdom, guiding Jack and Annie on their quest. Use of setting The Arabian desert serves as both a literal and metaphorical backdrop for the story. Its harsh conditions mirror the challenges Jack and Annie face, while its beauty reflects the richness of the culture and knowledge they are trying to protect. Conclusion Season of the Sandstorms is a thought-provoking and adventurous installment in the Magic Tree House, Merlin Mission series. Mary Pope Osborne expertly weaves together themes of knowledge, cultural preservation, and the importance of wisdom into a narrative that is both educational and entertaining. Through their journey to ancient Baghdad, Jack and Annie learn valuable lessons about the power of knowledge and the responsibilities that come with it. The book's rich historical context, combined with its magical elements, makes it a compelling read for young audiences, offering both an exciting adventure and meaningful reflections on the importance of wisdom and learning. The End Love the book summary. Subscribe Teddy Bear's Storytime YouTube channel now. Like the video. Turn on the notifications. And leave your comments. See you in next book.